My name is Carter Shepard and I'm a consultant with Graphable. In today's video, I'll talk through some of Demo's most powerful capabilities, painting a picture of how Demo could drive value at your organization through the lens of a made up craft beer distribution business that I've nicknamed Bubbly Beer. Keep in mind throughout the video that at the core of this demo, we are looking to connect data to and from four common business areas that may also exist in your organization. Sales and customer service, operations, a website or mobile application, and the leadership team. Ultimately, my goal is to help you understand how leveraging over 1,000 pre-built connectors in Domo alongside industry-leading data management capabilities enables your team to quickly connect to your data and tie it together to create meaningful insights and worthwhile efficiencies. Let's start by connecting to some of your business's most crucial data. Orders. Regardless of which customer relationship management system your orders are stored in, whether that's Salesforce, HubSpot, or another CRM, Domo has pre-built connectors that allow you to easily connect to your data. If I were to select connect on this screen, I would be provided the opportunity to log into Salesforce and connect to objects and fields without using any code. This is a great advantage for business users because it allows them to connect to data without the need to get technical support involved every single time. For today's demo, I've brought in sample data that we can look at for orders. This orders data resembles data that might come from your CRM. It includes information on the customer, what the customer ordered, and when the order should be delivered. And as you can imagine, the delivery information contained here is crucial data for our operations teams. Let's take a look at how leveraging Domo's magic ETL alongside our orders data can drive value for our operations team. As we enter the magic ETL user interface, you can see a data flow that I've created already flowing from left to right. I've clicked the run preview here, which is going to run each step of the ETL and a green check mark will be displayed if that step runs successfully. In today's demo, I'll highlight three tiles out of the CTL, the pivot tile, the rank and window, and the group by tile. Let's look at the pivot tile first. As I've mentioned before, pivoting data can be quite difficult using plain SQL. In Domo, you can use the pivot tile and slow code options to quickly pivot your data into meaningful formats. Here, we're pivoting the data based on the day of the week and populating the day of the week's columns with the delivery summary. In the next step, we're filtering the data to be a single day of the week, and then we're gonna use the rank and window tile to again do an advanced SQL functionality. Here, we're ranking the data based on the time of delivery and partitioning by the date and the distribution center. This is a crucial step because by partitioning by the distribution center, we create an extremely scalable and valuable solution for your team. Lastly, we're gonna group or aggregate the data down based on, again, the row number and the distribution center. In this example, we're really just cleaning up the days of the week's columns so that the rows align. Before we move on, let's take a look at how you would add another tile if you wanted to. Domo has many advanced tiles that we didn't cover today, such as their data science tiles and their scripting tiles. If I wanted to add this to my data flow, I would simply drag and drop it onto the ETL interface and connect my data to and from it as needed. Let's take a look at what the output of this data set would look like for our operations team. As we arrive onto this dashboard, we're quickly prompted to select which distribution center we would like to look at. After selecting a distribution center, the schedule for that distribution center is displayed with critical information for our operations team. Let's talk about how we would get this schedule into the right hands. Typically, managers deliver schedules to their teams on two formats. One is in a 
cadence via email. And the other is by displaying the schedule in the operations area on site. And luckily, Domo is able to conquer both of these problems. Using Domo's scheduled report functionality, you're able to set up reports on the cadence that your team is used to. This enables you to get the schedule out via email to your ops team and delivery partners. Additionally, if you'd like to display this on site, Domo has an Apple TV app that is unlike anything that a competitor could offer. With just a few clicks, a 30 second to two minute effort, you can log into Domo via the Apple TV app and quickly display dashboards, cards, or other visualizations that your team needs right on site in operations areas. As you can imagine, a combination of these scheduled reports and the TV displays in your ops areas is a huge value add in combination with Domo's automated Magic ETL. Because now, anytime an order is filled out on your CRM, Domo will automatically capture that data, transform it, display it on the TVs, and email it out to your team. This reduces the risk of miscommunication and ultimately failed deliveries. Bubbly Beer runs a significant portion of their business on Neo4j's graph database. And once again, Domo offers a pre-built connector for this. This connector was actually developed and deployed by the Graphable team, and it only requires a few credentials to get started. Your Neo4j instance URL, database name, and the username and password that you usually use to log in. For today's demo, I've created a sample data set that includes customer reviews of our beer. This data includes information about when the review was left, what beer it was for, the number of stars it received, and the associated comment. Let's take a look at how we could present all of this data together in combination to our leadership team. For today's demo, I've created sample data for one week. However, keep in mind that in a real business scenario, this dashboard could display information over any given time period that your business has the data to supply it. In this first row, we've captured information on sales quota attainment, payment collection rates, and the most valuable contacts to the business. Leveraging Domo's interactivity, we're also able to gather more information when that's valuable to our business. Now let's take a closer look at breaking down our sales data over the week. Domo's variables capability allows you to quickly toggle between different meaningful sales breakdowns. This allows your team to prioritize what's most valuable to look at. Lastly, we've got our customer reviews data. Having the ability to consolidate information from multiple data sources onto the same dashboard in Domo is invaluable. Here, we've brought in our customer reviews data alongside our operations data and our sales data to give us a holistic picture of what's going on in the business. Now that we've reviewed the leadership dashboard, let's circle back to the big picture at hand. In today's video, I hope I've helped you to understand the comprehensive set of capabilities all built into Domo's single seamless platform. These capabilities enable your team to quickly connect to and tie together data to create meaningful insights and efficiency gains. As I mentioned earlier in the call, with over 1,000 pre-built connectors, Domo can connect to your data regardless of which tools you use. And thanks to the ease of use to business users, your data can be leveraged to drive value across all teams in your organization. If you're interested in working with Graphable on Domo at your company, or if you have questions about other features such as Domo's data apps or write back connectors, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team via email at info at graphable.ai. Thank you so much for your time and I hope to work with your team soon.